So today is uh, hashtag Fiona Spreading Kindness because it's Monday. Uh, if you want to win some happy mail from me, all you need to do is comment below this video with the words hashtag Fiona Spreading Kindness. And if you want to, you can tell us about a time when you last showed someone a random act of kindness, but you don't have to do that to be in the drawing to win the happy mail. So next Monday, next Monday I will draw the winner. Now, um, I did miss a couple of weeks, that's why I'm not drawing a winner today. Uh, Kirsty, you are the winner of my last one. Uh, Kirsten, Kirsten Hatch, yeah, you are the winner of my last one. And I haven't forgotten, I have your happy mail all ready to go. Okay, so that's that. Um, now, I, what, what I've come on to do is to show you the uh, August collection, which is the Vintage Victorian Romance. So today I want to show you the main kit. I think I've got... I'm, I already made this video, okay? I've already recorded it once. But... When I played it back, the sound was atrocious and you could hardly hear me talking at all. So, uh, somewhere in my settings it was using the wrong microphone. So now ho hopefully you can hear me uh, this time. I've already been through it once. Um, hopefully I haven't mixed up my pages. I may have. But anyway, so I'm going to show you the main kit today. And then I'm going to show you a couple of the add-ons and these kits are already out there for you to purchase um, or if you're a Kofi member there are already some freebies out there um, there's one complete backing paper kit which is free but I'll explain that as we go along um, let's just, just need to find make sure I haven't no, it's okay. All right, so Vintage Victorian Romance is the August collection. This is the main kit and a couple of the backing paper kits, pattern paper and backing papers. There will be more coming out. There will be an add-on ephemera kit, which will be a fairly large kit, so there will be more ephemera coming. And, you know, pockets and envelopes and fussy cuts and so forth. Um, so that's coming very soon. There is going to be a mini journal coming out. The mini journal is always free to Kofi members. That's Kofi subscribers. It's six dollars a month. You also get lots of other freebies on my coffee site too. So that's coming out, and there'll also be a folio. So it'll be same every month for all of my collections. But I will also be bringing out little freebies in between because we have our freebie Friday every Friday and I'm sure there'll be lots of things that I want to sort of add on to the journal so you know I'll just do a little design and so that you guys can download it too. Okay so it's Vintage Victorian Romance. The colours are beautiful. They are blush pinks, greys and sort of tea dyed-ish background so sort of sepia I guess. Um, so you've got this beautiful blush pink and obviously Victorian inspired. So the first page we have got a vintage key and a typewriter, beautiful. And this is one of the backing pages that is part of the patterned paper set. And you get a couple of these in the main kit. Now I just explained before when I made the video that I print mine, I printed my pages on 120 GSM paper um, and that is because I like to print front and back and if I use ordinary copy paper which is usually around about uh, 80 to 100 GSM uh, when you print on the front and the back often it, it might seep through the page and you can see through it and it's not really good enough quality for me I have used it in the past because uh, that's all I had, but now I keep that for my tea and coffee dyeing, okay? So the 120 GSM is just that little bit better quality. And it, you can also print your ephemera on that, which I have done, because I often back the ephemera up with um, a tea or coffee dyed paper or something else anyway. Um, so it makes it more sturdy. 
Okay, and the other thing I wanted to explain is that it's come out in, uh, I've put it out in eight and a half by 11 inch paper, which is US standard size. And um, it's just a tiny, you know, bit of a different size to A4. But I am obviously A4. I print on A4 because I'm in Australia. Um, Australia and I believe the UK, we, we all use A4 papers. So what I wanted to explain that um, is that it's okay if you've got A4 paper and I've put them out. I know I probably should have put it out in A4, uh, but honestly, uh, most people that use my papers um, are from the US, like the uh, junk journal uh, community in the US is just huge. Um, but I just wanted to explain that it doesn't matter because I still print mine on A4 paper and I'll show you how I do that. So when I print the pages, um, I put my settings on my printer to shrink to fit. You usually have a setting something like, um, you know, fill page or shrink to fit. So I do shrink to fit, otherwise the top and bottom get, get slightly cut off, but only a tiny bit. But because they're sort of framed with lace, a lot of them and things, I don't, don't want that to get cut off. So I do shrink to fit, but I do it on all the pages, including the ephemera, because sometimes the ephemera is also sized to fit the specific size pages. So you obviously need to print the whole lot on the same settings. And the only um, thing that will be different to the US letter size printing is that it will be slightly shorter from here to here. Because US letter size paper is 11 inches this way, right? Our paper is a little bit, oh, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> my voice wants to go on me. Our paper is a little bit over uh, 11, it's nearly 11 and one third inches, I think, or a quarter. So all you have to do is cut those edges off, okay? So I hope that explains it to everyone, you know, in Australia and the UK that use A4 paper. Here's the next one. Beautiful lady and some vintage roses. I've printed another one of the um, patterned papers on the back. Another beautiful lady with some British flowers. More of the uh, damask pattern paper on the back. And this one's upside down. Got this beautiful lady, this teacup and lace. Printed another one of the pattern papers. Whoops! <laughs> upside down again. Okay, so two ladies on this one and on the back of this one I've also printed some of that. Now this is a separate kit but you've got some included in the main kit, okay? But it's a separate kit if you wanted to buy the complete kit. Butterfly, flower, background paper there, beautiful bird, and a vase there of flowers there and on the back of this one you get two of the tea dye lace and floral backing papers they're another one that coordinates with this kit so I think I've given you two of these backing papers in the main kit beautiful vintage Victorian scenery and a butterfly Another bird, it's another more beautiful vintage Victorian scenery. Tea dyed in this paper. Um, these beautiful um, young girls. I have uh, this one here, I think I'm gonna, I may resize her down or I might not, but I'd love to use her on the cover of my next journal. So that's what I was thinking. 
And I've included a line page which you can print out as many times as you like if you want some more lined papers in the journal. Now, uh, then I've also printed some more of the backing papers. Um, you also get some of this with the, uh, I think they were just called Vintage Roses and Lace, I can't remember, but it is another kit, but the whole kit is free on Kofi. Um, I think if you remember, head over to Kofi and have a look. I can't always remember what I've given to members and non-members, but if you remember, you get everything over there. But it, there are a lot of freebies for everybody on there. And this one might possibly be, I can't remember. But it also coordinates more of the tea dye and lace and more of the vintage Victorian roses. Then I've printed more of the damask background paper, the sort of damask and baroque uh, patterns in the blush pinks. Uh, I just printed a few because I wanted some extra pages there. get a few pages of ephemera, I think it's six or seven, and then as I said, I'm shortly going to bring out an extra ephemera kit. Got a little teacup, beautiful little girls here, and a butterfly, and I haven't printed on the back of that one. Now, there is another page of these, um, but they're different. Totally free in my Facebook group and on my coffee site. All these uh, things will be linked below, so if you want an extra four of the large journaling cards, um, you, you can get those for free. I've got eight tags, smaller tags there. I've got two beautiful envelopes, and I've put it on the back just so it's not white inside. I've printed two copies of the ephemera kit, I've printed two copies of everything, because. You know, that's just handy if you're making a largest journal. And you also get the two fuzzy cut pages. And one is including some of the beautiful paper dolls. This is also a separate kit that I'll show you um, in a minute. Um, I think your kit's got about 21, I think it is, paper dolls. Um, but I've included three in the main kit. Beautiful roses, just beautiful sort of baroque or buttons and some uh, stamps there. Now while I'm here, I'll just show you, um, this was last week's Freebie Friday. So if you haven't downloaded it, go ahead and download it from Facebook or Kofi. And in my last video, we made these beautiful um, tracing paper or vellum tuck spots out of this freebie. Okay, so that's one of the fussy cut pages. The other one, we've got some vintage typewriters, a uh, beautiful lady, a heart, um, these three circles, the feathers, and some more roses. Okay, so that's that. And then we have three pockets, and I've printed those twice. Now that is all the ephemera in that. That's the main kit, okay? So this is another kit that coordinates. As I showed you, you get two papers like this in the main kit. They are the tea dye and florals digital paperback pack. Now it coordinates with this kit. There's 27 pages in the kit and you get horizontal and vertical pages. That kit on its own would just make a beautiful uh, vintage looking journal, don't you think? This is the other kit that coordinates. It's the Vintage Victorian Romance Pattern Papers. There are 12 papers in that separate kit, but I've given you two papers in the main kit, okay? Damask and Baroque patterns on there. 
Now this one is the separate um, paper doll kit. I just want to put that one back. So we've been having fun um, using these and I can't wait to use more of them. So we've got these beautiful children, vintage Victorian children. Uh, and this is the separate kit. Um, we have, but it all coordinates. It's got the blush pinks, um, the greys, and everything. These beautiful ladies, these beautiful ladies, more beautiful ladies and children. And we've got this page here. I think that's what I've given you in the main kit. Yeah, I've given you those. And I've included this, um, you could use it as a journal card or you could cut the frame out. It's like vintage Victorian lace there. Okay, so that's um, that. And then I've given you, um, I've resized them down so you get the half sized images as well. And that is just the vintage Victorian paper dolls if you wanted to buy that as a separate kit. Okay, so I hope that explains it all. Um, I don't know if I said this in the beginning, I probably did, but I'll say it again. So the with the main kit, um, where is my so the main kit I've shown you what's already out including you know, some of the backing papers and the paper dolls. Um, I'm soon to bring out the add-on ephemera kit, hopefully today, I'm not sure. It does take time to put these things together. Um, and then you will also get the mini journal. Um, it's a complete mini journal you can put together. And you will also get the, a folio kit. So I'm gonna be bringing them all out before the end of the month, then of course September will be a new collection. So I'll be using this this month, hopefully doing a lovely journal and lots of other projects. And the mini journal is always free every month for Kofi members, which is only $6 a month, okay? And you do get lots of other uh, things included in that $6. Okay, so all my links are below, go and check everything out and uh, hopefully in my next video um, I will be starting this new journal and um, don't forget, uh, comment below with the hashtag Fiona Spreading Kindness and be in the running to win some happy mail from me, from me. Okay, thanks very much guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.